Alright, so I'm going to show you how to set up the PCSX2 for the PC. Alright, let's have a look at my screen here. Alright, you can see the screen here. Let's open it up. What you're going to want to do is click on config. I am using the GSDX890 with uh, CPU instructions SSE2. And uh, you can configure it here. You see my settings. Uh, Windowed, because I'm going to play it Windowed. Uh, DirectX 9 hardware. That's if, uh, that's if you have a decent GPU. Uh, I'm using a uh, pixel shader model 3, no interlacing 4x3, native, and you can see these settings here. I'm not 100% sure what they all mean. The next thing, uh, controller. I'm using my Xbox controller, which I have all sought up right here. And I got it all set up here. What you do is you click one and you press the button on your controller and it goes through it. You can probably do that with any controller you're using. The next thing is I made an ISO of a game, or I actually downloaded one, uh, Gradius 4. So I have to use the Linux ISO CDV. What you do is you go configure, you click here, and you select your your file here. That's the game Gradius 4. I have Final Fantasy 10 too. And just use the settings you see on screen here now. And sound, I'm using the PEOPS SPU2 1.9. Uh, you can see the settings I have set up here. And you're going to need a BIOS. I got a PAL version of the game I downloaded, and so I got to use a European BIOS. You can get it on Torrents. I recommend Demonoid or ISOHunt.com. So, I'm going to launch this here now. I'll pull back the camera. Uh, my computer specs are it's a dual core IMD 3800X2 running at 2.4 gigahertz, and I'm using a 8800 GTS 640, and I have 2 gig of RAM. So these specs you can, you should be able to play games pretty good. I'm zooming out here now, and let's launch the game. And you click Run CD once you mount the image. <coughs> This is a game I missed out on when I was a kid. So this is PS2 running on a computer. Pretty much flawless. 
and the crap I missed out in this game, man. I love I'm really glad that I'm actually able to play it. Alright, so that's that. I gotta show you some other settings now. Alright, for your CPU, this is how I have it set up on mine. Let me zoom in. I already told you my system specs, so I'm actually using the limit up here. You can, if you're having a really hard time, you can select this and set up at these settings here, or even change this to 50 and 40 and 2 and 2. That's what basically everybody else is using with my system specs. For Final Fantasy X, you're going to need to do that. Uh, next, you have game fixes. We're not playing those games, so we don't use it. Speed hacks. This is important, too. I'll zoom in a little bit. This is the setup I'm using here now. So you can see everything. And advanced. Here's what I'm using. Set it up like that and you should be good. And that's PS2 on your PC. Good luck. Hopefully it works out for you. Like I said, you're going to need a dual core. You have to have a dual core.